preparing. We are live. Hello, everybody. It is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And I got to tell everybody, I love Thanksgiving. Okay. Thanksgiving is a great time. We all need to take time today to, and tomorrow to be thankful. I, I, I can tell you there's so many things that I can do. I can, go on about about being thankful, but I'm just really thankful that we're going to be able to spend some time this Thanksgiving with some of our loved ones. And today we have such an amazing guest and it's kind of crazy. Lori and I started this whole you know, platform just well over a year and a half or so ago. I, I'm losing track of time, Lori. I really am. And I'm so thankful for you. I'm so thankful for what we've been able to accomplish and the things that we've done and, and the blessings that have been bestowed upon us from other people. And the gal that we have today, I, I Lori, you, it was one of our very early on interviews. And I want you please to share the story of how you met this young woman, how amazing how our paths had crossed many years ago at Downers Grove North class of we're 79 and she's 78 but we didn't know each other and how later in life how I get chills thinking about how this has happened so with that Lori please take it away and thank you for yeah, being here thank you thank you Debbie thank you Joan I'm so grateful that you both are in my life well Joan and I connected on Facebook because I was looking for her sister for um, our class reunion. And so then we became friends on Facebook and I started reading her posts and I saw that she had written a book and I really, you know, I, th I saw it and I, I thought, oh, this is amazing, but I never really looked into the book. So then when we were, Debbie and I were talking about somebody we would love to get on as a, as an inspiration on our, on our page, uh, an interview, I thought, you know what, I should really look into Joan and see what she totally is about. So then I started looking into her book a little bit more. And then I said to Debbie, oh my gosh, we got this woman that is such an inspiration she had cancer and she survived it. And she had all this stuff that happened to her and she survived. We need to find out more about her. So we invited Joan to be a guest on our show. And in the meantime, Debbie and I wanted to read her book. So we scrambled, we got the book on Amazon and we both read it. And oh my God, it totally changed me. Mm -hmm. You know, I was so kind of down in the dumps with my disabilities and stuff and listening to what Joan had went through and how God, God changed her life mm -hmm. and all the prayers and everything of everybody mm -hmm. and somebody going to Medjugorje, all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. changed her life. And now she goes out and she's got her book. She's in the process of having a new book called Hearts Ablaze that will be out soon. And she is an inspiration for everyone. And I really want you to hear her story. And like, she's moved now across the country and she'll tell you all about that. But I just want to say, Joan, thank you so much. God brought you to Debbie and, our, and Debbie and I in our lives. And we just want to share so much about you. Thank you so much. Thank With you. that, Joan, go ahead. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you guys for having me back here again. It was really an honor. Um, well, you know, we, I lived in Illinois for 61 years, and then we moved out to North Carolina. So it's totally different lifestyle, but we're loving it out here. Um, what can I say? And let's see, in between, after we somewhat settled in, but not all the way, we decided to take a five-week long road trip. And we, um, we left in end of July, get back at end of August. We hit, uh, I wrote down all the different states because my husband was a driver. So he precisely knew the mileage, 7,608.4, which is the port mile across 23 states. First, we visited my sister in Georgia. Then we went to Arizona to visit my good friend Edna. We've known her since the, when we first got married in our first apartment. And then we went and saw Bob in California. Then we went to Montana to see my youngest daughter. She had a baby. We were there for like three weeks. And then back to Illinois to see the other, my other daughters as well. So that was pretty cool. But I want to show you, share with you also, I wrote this down so I wouldn't forget. 
we played a silly license like game just to kind of kill the time. And I would, he would like start out there while he's in place and I would mark him down and we had like a tally. They were as far as Alaska, first Columbia, Hawaii, Mexico, and Saskatchewan. We got 43 different states or locations. Wow. So we saw a lot of amazing things and it was just, a, it was a great trip. That's the first time we've done anything since the pandemic started. So, um, let's see. Once we got back and our family did settle down, I have a lot of things back in North, in Illinois in storage still, but I started to get out here with my book and speaking and kind of sharing the story out here. And um, I ended up, uh, I think it was like three book, but author minds that they took, hooked me up with. And then I give my first friends of nation, St. Keith of the Fisherman, my church out here a couple of weeks ago. Now I'm set up with uh they, it was really cool. The mayor of Oriental is kind of taking me under her wing. She you know, her and I just in the click. And she's introduced me to the women's club, which I'm speaking at, um, the Rotary Club. I want the thing called Primetime Live, it's some kind of an online message for through the church as well. So I feel like I'm starting to get in there more. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, oh yeah, I was gonna mention about the book too, about how the new book coming up, Hearts of Blaze. You know, you can go through like my website and I'll put that on the bottom of the links where you can uh, like pre-order the book. There would be no charge at this time, just to get your name in the list. So I know, so I know how many books to order. Um, what else do you need to know, Laura? Well, um, I just want to say to anybody that's listening out there, Joan's story is remarkable. You, she's going to put put her website on there. It's amazing. You can learn a lot about the things, but also you could go on Amazon and they'll give you a little bit of introduction about right. the book. Joan is a survivor with faith and love. And I want to put that out there because there's going to be people listening to this that are struggling in their lives in all different ways, even cancer, all kinds of things. Joan has proven in her books with God, anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and prayer, prayer is it's so important. And you surrender to God, correct, Joan? Yes, definitely. And you know, I mean, Joel, you could just say like the when it first happened, tell them just a little bit about how, what the doctor told your husband. Just um, so he didn't, they didn't tell me, but they told him. Yeah. Course. They would start the chemo at the end of the week because I didn't think I was going beyond the end of the week. So they actually told me the internal arrangements in which we started. And then they said, you know, we're not, so we're just giving up. Um, prayers led to miracles, and I'm here 31 years now, and I have five grandchildren now. Yeah, it's just so I was just trying to be here for my children, my yeah. little ones. They were really young at the time. Yeah, you're so, didn't you just give birth to your youngest child like a couple yeah, months I earlier? Yeah, I was nursing yeah. the, the youngest one, that's why I actually saw Montana. She yeah, had baby grown, so that was yeah. That was, that, that, that's just amazing. And, you know, I just, like I said, when I read the book, I just had this new hope in my life. And Joan, God has blessed you. And you have taken your story and put it in a book and you have shown it to the world, you know? And, and, and I think that's just, and it, being Thanksgiving tomorrow, how yeah, thankful right. is it that you Definitely. are doing what God wants you to do? And like I said, I, I just, <laughs> we got the turkey. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, there he is. Is. oh, Mr. Turkey <laughs> Man. Oh, I love you so much. You know what? I don't even, I, I'm sure we met back in high school. I but, thought we had to. Uh, and you yeah. know what? I watch your post. Yeah, I watch your post and I think you're the husband of the year. So I want to <laughs> give that to you, okay? 
because I've seen all the stuff you do where you have stood by your wife and you're such a great supporter. And I love your sense of humor in some of the things. So I love this. Thank you for sharing that. Well, I had to stick by her. She's the only one who will cook for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> she must be a good cook then, huh? Hey, she can cook ramen noodles like nobody. Oh, really? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's but I know that about you, Joan. So thank you so much for, for that's Mr. Awesome. So well. uh, that's Joan's husband, in case you're wondering. Yeah. But with that, do you have any questions you want to ask Joan? Well, I first, before I say anything uh, question-wise, I just wanted to say that, Joan, it, it, it's amazing how this is a perfect example of, you know, there's a lot of people out there that no matter what they're going through, okay, um, they can start again. And the reason I'm saying this again, meaning like you're back into a whole different area that you know nobody and right. you had the vision that you wanted to share your story. So you started off by finding a place that would let you come and, and, and sit down and show. Cause I saw all your pictures on Facebook. I follow you on Facebook and you started there and then you went and you talked to somebody else and you, you, you persistently went after finding where can you make the connections? Where, who can you talk to? Who can I find out? Who can I do this? And it just goes to show that we're never too old to be able to start doing more again because you have everything back here that you did in the illinois area and it's a whole new world for you out there you know so and you're in making and and you know what you you went to another area and you have no idea who you're gonna bless it's just so cool like how this is all like expanding out and with that little road trip and stuff being able to do that not a lot of people are able to do that you know and that is i think it's so cool i love how your husband is so supportive he's got a crazy <laughs> Crazy, it's crazy, crazy personality. Yeah. 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 Okay, but yeah, question. Please. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. But question wise, I mean, I, I really can't think of anything to ask you. I just really would love, though, if you could, even though everybody that has listened to us, I mean, you got to remember one thing. I think when we first, you, you don't happen to remember how many followers we may have had when we first met you and had you on because yeah. we're well into the 600s. Yeah. And this gets shared all over, you know, we're on YouTube, we're, you know, we're sharing it all over Facebook and you never know who the next live you're going to life you could touch. So if you can go ahead, just like put all of your stuff again on our, you know, underneath there in the comments, refresh everybody's memory, please keep sharing to us. A lot of times Lori and I grab stuff and we try to reshare it, you know, and, and if it gets reshared and it's posted twice, so be it. I'd rather have it be posted twice than not posted at all. Right. Yeah. You know, cause you just don't know. To, maybe tomorrow, the next day, someone sees it, reads, reads about what you've got going on and it resonates with them or, you know, gives them, the vision to help others as well, you know, so, so it's, it's exciting. And I also want to say one more thing. And then I'll turn it to you, Laura, is that you have introduced us to so many people, you know, we met Kira through you, who you met out here in Illinois, you know, our Kara, um, we uh, have met other people that you've brought to our platform. We've, Lori, especially has your book has been promoted to so many people because, you know, the people that we talk to. And so, I know this was a divine intervention connection. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah. But the part that blows me away is, again so much more is that we all went to high school together. That's the thing. But we didn't know you. Yeah, and, no, you know? Right. And and Lori was the thing, the, a little like background about Lori of being our class president and how we did our you know reunion. Lori was so driven that she wouldn't leave anybody behind. She did not want one person not to know about our reunion. If they chose not to come, that was their that was their loss, trust me, because our reunion, we know how to throw a party. There's no doubt about that. Right. But she was calling the siblings, she was calling all over, you know? And so it's just kind of funny how, you know, she got a hold of your sister and, and even your sister who is who we went to graduated in our class yeah. with, but then somehow found out about your book. So, you know, it was not a mistake, definitely. It was a definitely yeah so cool you know so well that's basically what my next book was about it's a compilation of stories of all the people that i met that are connected and they inspire one another this mm -hmm. one else this one then this one else this one and how would everything come together 
So I'm excited to share those stories. There's a lot of my friends that are going to be in the mug too. That's nice. Good. That's, That's awesome. Great. That's great. I just want to say, Joan, I just want, I, I reached out to Joan because I have a special friend that's suffering with cancer and, and trying to fight it. And I wanted her book, Joan's book. She was so nice to autograph it for me and send it to my friend. And I'm hoping that my friend got an inspiration from your book, yeah. you know, because like I said, you know, with all, with, with God, all things are possible. Right. And, and mm -hmm. we all have had something in our lives that we understand it, but Joan has, was so blessed. You know, sometimes you think something bad that happens to you is like a curse, but sometimes well, God has things happen to us so yeah. that we could go out and we could change lives and other people. We don't okay. know what they are. Right. So, exactly. Joan, do you have anything more you want to say? Um, I guess if anybody is interested, that'd be great Christmas get the thing. Oh, yeah. Home, inspirational gift. You can either go to Amazon or Barnes and Noble online, or you can you can personally Facebook me or email me, and I'll again I'll put all the links under there. Um, I don't know what else to say. I well, think Joan, I didn't mean to mention everything, so. Yeah, that's great. I'm just so happy. Again, everyone, her book is The Dance, and I'll put it, something on there. She's going to put some stuff on there, but her new book is called Hearts Blaze, and I can't wait for that to come out. I'm going to probably buy a few copies to send to friends, and you know what? Again, you know, everybody should buy this book for somebody for Christmas because you know what? you don't know how it's going to touch their heart. Everybody's, there's a lot of people and families that are kind of down about stuff going on because of the country and everything. This right. would be a great book for inspiration for them. Absolutely. So, so Debbie, you want to close this out? Absolutely. I just want to say, ladies, again, I am so blessed. You two are in my life. I, I, I Tomorrow's going to be a great day. Everybody needs to reflect. I want to just say that, um, you know, we've got some fun in store for Friday. We're going to be on on Friday and it's going to be a fun time because it's going to be Lori's favorite things. And it's going to be, you know, both of our favorite things, but Lori's featured with some really cool tips and tricks. And we just appreciate that everybody that tunes in and watches what we're doing and that we ask that you help us and share us, you know, get the word out there because you know what, it's, it's platforms like this that we can all make a difference in each other's lives and be able to have fun as we do it. And we all learn from it as well. And so with that, I just want to say, have a blessed holiday tomorrow, Thanksgiving, and we will be talking soon. And Everybody be safe. Enjoy your family. Don't thank you. Don't thank you. Bye -bye. Yes. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.